swerving Catch me in that Rolls Royce, I'ma close the curtains The bitch was jaded on me, how you like me now? All this jewelry on me, like I went to trial 50 bands in my marriage, rich walk in the style Hard work pays off and it take a while Money on my mind, tryna run a hundred plus I can't fuck with her, cause she not a hundred plus Hit the bitch from the back, I'ma bust a nut Back in the day, I was broke as fuck with no love I be doing what I want and they hate that Hater, Count of that cash, got a big stack Man, Man what is up? up? First boy, right. back with the March vlog recap. Finally turned 24, two four, tray four shit, man. <laughs> so for the March vlog, March art life recap, content recap. So my to do interview was finally released. And I did that interview back in October. So in that article feature is talking about my art, my past art studio, how the art studio affected my artwork, why I joined to Dooley, my passions, and a message to my peers. You know, I'm like a motivational speaker, man. You know, that's them, uh, I don't even know what astrology placements would even control that, but yeah. <laughs> to Dooley is an app that I used to use a lot to make some extra money on the side. It's like the Uber for side jobs where you can accept jobs where people need a house cleaned up or mulch spread around their yard and stuff like that. I'm definitely one of the most active helpers on the app. So they decided to feature me. I remember one job I did, man, the dude had me rolling joints, me and Brand Visions, man. I know you remember that. I know you watching, man my Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club Zoom meeting feature slideshow was released. Say that five times fast. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was the toilet. So I was one of the feature artists for a Breakfast Club meeting back in October. So I did a slideshow showing like the chronological order of my art career. It go all the way back to like 2008 when I, I've been posting content online since 2008, since I was like 11 years old. And it goes all the way up until that point where I was still at my studio. So it just go through different shifts in my art career and development of my style from when I was using pastels, my digital stuff, my influences, working with Hubert Massey, my internships, just everything just about but let me know if y'all want me to redo that video because my audio got messed up and my screen recorder didn't record from my microphone so i just had to use the audio from my camera i released a new music video slash time lapse called seam seam that's like the second music video slash art time lapse i've done the first one I did was um, for Argyle. He's an ambiverse artist. Well, he goes by Wednesday now. But yeah, I did another style of video like that for him. I'll leave that in the description. Same scene out now, firstbornart.com and my YouTube page. Um, produced by Purple Kill, the audio out on all streaming platforms. Um, the artist I was body painting is Akua Blue. That was for her music video called Goddess. That's out right now. Also, definitely want to do more body painting and just art time lapses slash music videos in general. Kind of merge the art and the music together and, you know, keep pushing that style of videos forward. Really be a catalyst for those type of videos it's firstborn art i appreciate y'all for tuning in be sure to watch the rest of the vlog to check out the rest of the clips yeah, yeah. swag oh shit, that's overexposed as fuck. damn what the fuck? ls duty tees i need to show you my new shirts
about to get interviewed for this uh, art fair um, giving out tips on preparing for art fairs put on by um, Met Artist Guild the uh, company that gave my entrepreneur and business skills the ones I use to this day I'm about to do a little zoom call they putting on like a um like a video series for artists on how to prepare for art fairs and different type of stuff. So, of course, I'm one of the, I guess, consistent alumni from that program. So, of course, they're gonna holler at me. <laughs> when you're looking for a show to apply for, an art fair to apply for, you really just wanna read the fine print and make sure it fits you, you know, no, if I'm a oil painting, traditional oil painting landscape painter, you know, I'm not going to want to go to Funky Ferndale. Yeah, just, just be ready just for everything. Um, have your business cards, have your square reader, have your phone charged, uh, have your prices down, you know, stay in contact with anybody who's interested in your work or that you sell a piece to so yeah that's that's definitely some things i took away from it typical day at a fair a lot of loud noises a lot of uh trucks backing up a lot of people rushing a lot of setting up then you see the people coming in then people will come to your table when it's first starting. Then they they come back later. A lot of business cards being handed out. A lot a lot of talking. Of course, the good food you smell. Um, but on the last day at a fair, it's that's usually the busiest. You know, like those first like really just that whole last day but the last couple hours you know people are doubling back um it's more people coming in you might have some artists knocking down prices on their pieces things like that but yeah that's usually what you can expect yeah uh have something to carry your work have something to carry your paintings, pieces, whatever, to keep it safe. Um, keep your setup as less maintenance as possible. Um, if you know you're only setting up with yourself or somebody else, don't, you know, bring a million things and keep your pieces protected. All right, so it's my birthday, man. It's 2.42 in the morning. Uploading this um, video I did. It's a chronological exploration of my art career that I have been did in October, I believe, for um, the Detroit Fine Art Breakfast Club feature I had. I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, so I'm about to upload that in honor of my birthday, birthday month. Um, the audio is not that good, so if y'all want me to redo that video, please let me know, and I will redo that shit. And I'll add more slides and everything. I did that video thinking I was recording from my microphone, but it didn't. It only recorded from my camera microphone instead of my Blue Yeti. And you know, my camera only records for like 30 minutes, then it cuts off and I was talking for more than 30 minutes. So yeah, man, I am currently doing some commission work for uh, Hood Mystic. Shout out to him. 
It's crazy how I really watched his videos like damn near every day a couple years ago. He would go live like every morning doing like a um like an astrology forecast kind of thing. And I'll watch them every fucking morning, bro. Like and now I'm working with him. Like he um commissioned me to do some artwork for his clothing line. So these just some ideas. I got about three. So I'm gonna just see which one he fucking with. And just go from there. So yeah, man. It's not the hood mystic. But as typical, I'm gonna do my typical birthday song. Record it on my birthday, on the day of my birthday, on my birthday, on my birthday party. <laughs>